coming to America too. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a release date for coming to America. It's in December, but before we talk about that, take a look at this. This was an interview done with Wesley Snipes and the crew just talking about how they felt. Filming, coming to America too. America 2 is going to be directed by Craig Brewer, who directed this movie. Did you guys hatch that plan to work together on that movie while you were on the set of this movie, or did he not yet know that he was going to be doing it? Well, yes, we did. Uh, <laughs> we planned it all out, and it's just working like a joke. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely not. Cut. Was it good to shave? What are you most excited about to do in Coming to America 2? Oh, I have a way to bring some uh, different accents. You haven't heard a lot of it. Oh. I'm going to do something very good, yeah. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. My name is General EZZ. Oh, <laughs> because I can make it very easy. <laughs> For you. <laughs> I, have, I know you like it. Boy. <laughs> uh, ladies See, and gentlemen. Not funny? <laughs> here's here's the specs. Coming to America 2 will be released on Amazon December the 18th, 2020. You will all be able to see Hakeem as he learns he has a long lost son in the United States and must return to America to meet the unlikely heir to the throne of Zumanda. Not Wakanda, <laughs> but Zumanda. Zumanda. A sequel to the 1988 comedy hit and I'm hoping this is going to be a hit, but Larry, why would he have who 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 would be the baby mama? Didn't he take his queen back to Zamunda with him? So did he sneak back to America and get some of them American panty draws? What happened? I don't know. That's yeah, they're gonna have to explain that. Like, because that's what I was thinking. I was like, from my understanding, that that he took homegirl back. Yeah, he took the queen back with him. So how you in know? the world? How in the world is there a long lost child in America that's making them come back? Man, yeah, they're I don't know. They're gonna yeah, they're gonna have to explain that one to us. Yeah, they're gonna have to explain that one because it need... doesn't make any sense, but it, it's there, I mean, there's no continuity from my understanding, but you know, they're good at writing stuff in, so yeah, you know, and I think I I, I honestly I think it's gonna be good. I don't see Amazon paying 125 million um if they didn't think it was going to have some chops you know yeah and it's not like they're going to be charging anything extra in order to see it you got to be a prime member but they're not right. charging a additional fee on top of prime for you to see this movie so they right. spent all that upfront money with the expectation that this movie is going to either engage the current prime members or it's going to draw in more prime members, or they might be trying to reach out to a greater minority community. Larry, what do you think? Honestly, for $125 million, I think this is really just sort of like Jeff Bezos saying he wants to go to the movies and see this and he can't see it. So he's like, I'm just going to buy it so I can watch it. And since I have it, I might as well throw it up on Amazon because $125 million for him is basically like a $20 movie ticket for us, you know? So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right Honestly, now, man, I think it's just a loss leader. They this is, this is what Amazon does. Amazon charges people twenty nine dollars for a Fire Stick or thirty nine dollars for a tablet. It's a loss leader. They're making products where they're either 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 breaking even on them or maybe even sometimes losing a little bit of money because it helps the people buy more Amazon products. So if you if you go. And you have this thing, you're like, oh, maybe I'll get the 30 day trial so that you can uh, watch it. You get the 30 day trial and then you start ordering some stuff because you're like, oh, I can get Amazon Prime with this now. I can get my free two day shipping. So you order a few things. And then the next thing you know, you're like, oh, I want to cancel this, but I'm about to order something. So you'll, I'll just order it after. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it for one more month and then order it. Mm -hmm. So you keep it ordered. Next thing you know, you're locked into the whole Amazon ecosystem. So, so do do I you have do you have a fear? Um, do you have a fear that this movie could be so bad that it ruins the mystique of the first one, or do you have confidence that it's going to at least be decent? I don't expect it to be better. That's not an expectation, I, but I do expect it to be decent. I expect it to be good. Okay. I expect it to be really good. I'll be honest with you because I think that I think that Eddie Murphy 
it seems like because it seemed like for a while there he was making a whole bunch of bull ish. Yeah, he was making. And and it seemed Wesley. like when he was making that bull ish, it seemed like he wasn't. It seemed like he wasn't making the movies. He was just in them. It seemed like for a, for a period of time he was just saying yes to some crap, doing stuff like Pluto Nash and. And and that other one where he was some sort of mystic dude, the, that guru type, he was doing some bullish. And but the movies that he seems to do, the movies that he seems to be vested in, are really good movies. I mean, like the one, the Dolomite Joint was good. You know, this movie I expect is going to be good. That other one that he was nominated for an Oscar for was good. But then he came that and did that other BS right after it. That uh, what was that one that with the big fat dude? Um. Not I Norbit, not Norbit. Yeah, what? Norbit. I think Nor- he probably would have won the Oscar if he didn't make that movie. I think that people, there was so much anger and outrage about that movie before it even came out. I think he probably would have won that Oscar if that if that movie was never made. But oh, yeah, you now, know. See, but anyway, I I think this is gonna be good because this is one of his projects. This is something he's really interested in, and I think I think it's gonna be good because of it. 